Now I've had a customer come in and bring me a water sample because there was a belief that potentially too much um, nopox was being used and there was um, a concern of too much diatom algae. Now I've looked at the photos and the diatom algae to me looks a lot more like um, cyno. Now if you've got cyno, getting a siphon hose, not a gravel cleaner, just a siphon hose, and then going over the area where you've got cyno, you'll actually see it often suck it out. So sucking it out is one of the best ways of getting rid of cyno because when you suck it out, you're also taking all the nutrients out that it collects. Whereas there are various um, red slime killers and they can be effective. But once again, they release the nutrients back into the aquarium and cause the growth of more cyno. So that's something to be concerned about. Using polyfilter is gonna help in that sort of situation. But there was also a concern about um, potentially using too much um, nopox, um, organic carbon, because you get like a white filmy growth all over the place. Um, but this growth was described as pink, which makes me think that that may be related to the cyano as well. So sucking cyano out with a hose is the cheapest and most effective way of reducing cyano. And then getting more balanced water quality is the real solution. So his salt level at the moment is 0.021, which is quite a good salt level for a tank that's mainly fish. Raising it slightly when adding coral would be a good idea, lowering it if adding fish is a new good idea. Now, so the KH is eight, which I'm happy with. The pH is 8.4, 8.1, but I prefer 8.4, so raising the pH would be good. The phosphate is 0.3, which is really quite good. Um, phosphate's green algae is the main one that's gonna cause. The magnesium says 1200. This um, machine um, usually tests a bit low. So a nice high magnesium at this point, I'm happy with. No ammonia, no nitrite, I'm happy with. And then the calcium's 480 which I'm happy with, and the nitrate is um, 24. So in this case, because the skim has been cleaned twice a week, um, I would probably up the nopox slightly, just trying to get rid of that nitrate. And I would like to see the pH up a little bit, and then I would get in there with a hose and just try and suck as much of that red slime out, algae out as possible. As that regrows, suck it out. And then with a bit of patience, the higher pH will deter this, lower nitrate will deter this. And it will take time, be patient.